Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Toolbox. Today I will be talking about how to find process parameters of any technology node using Cadence Simulation. So let's see what are the process parameters. So these are the process parameters mu pcx, mu one cx, mu pcx of uh, pmos, mu one cx of nmos, bth of pmos, bth of nmos. So these are the parameters we are uh, targeting to find out using this demo. I know that uh, beta effective is equal to mu cx w by l. This is well known formula. Using this formula, we will uh, find out what is the value of mu cx or mu one cx or bp cx. So let's uh, go to the demo and see how it can be found out. So this is the setup uh, arrangement you can say for finding out the device parameters. This is for PMOS same kind i am just try i am trying to pull out from pmos and and also same kind i am trying to uh, push in the nmos and uh, you can see w by l w is 10 micro l is 1 micro here also same w is 10 micro l is 1 micro and this is the power supply 1.8 maximum power supply and it is used as a diode connected fashion to keep it in saturation. So now let's try and find out the values of beta effective from this simulation along with pth of p, pth of n. So for that, go to launch ADL analysis, choose DC analysis, save DC operating point, apply. Okay. Now let's run it. Now go to the results print DC operating point. So if you click on any device, suppose I am clicking on NMOS, so you will see the result display window pops up. Here you can see beta effective 2.979 milli and you can also find out the bth bth 385 milli okay so these are the uh, parameter device parameters required from this simulation and you can also see the parameter of pmos click on pmos it will give beta effective 641.1 micro and this is the bth of p you can note it down. So using these values, beta effective values, we will uh, try to find out the values of mu one cx and mu p cx respectively. So let's check it out in the calculation part. Just note it down, beta effective, effective for PMOS is 641.1 micro and beta effective for NMOS is 2.979 milli for and MOS. So let's check it out in the calculation part. So here you can see for mu one cx, I have just substituted the values that I have got from the simulation. As you know, uh, L is one micro, W is ten micro. So just uh, this is the values for uh, mu one cx. Approximated value, three hundred micro ampere per volt square. And similarly for mu p cx. 641.1 for micro and just I have calculated and found out that this is the approximated value of mu pcx and bth and uh, uh, bth of p and bth of n is already noted from the simulation itself so this is it using this uh, technique you can found out the device parameter or process parameter so hope I have given you some valuable information through this video Please share and subscribe my channel so that you can get more such videos. Thank you.